Hello there, Sir Fancy here and welcome in this tutorial where we will set up gravity for VR pawn. Let's look at how it looks like. You can move around with joystick because teleporting would be quite bad for gravity and if I go up to this ramp, you could already see that I've fallen down a bit and if I go from here, I fall down. Wonderful, that's gravity in short. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alright, so as always I am in motion controller map from VR template from Unreal Engine. And let's right start to it and create new folder, which we will call Gravity. Open it. And first thing we will do here is create new blueprint. That blueprint will be character. And let's call it player. And one more thing, we will need to create uh, game mode and it would that would be called let's just call it VR gravity game mode yeah uh, I know it's not very original but let, let's stay with that and here on the right there is details and you need to go to world setting and set it to uh, da -da, VR gravity game mode VR gravity game mode save it and change this default pawn to our player but now if you open it pretty much nothing happens so first thing we will do is to add here camera okay camera is fine but we also need to add scene and that scene will be called vr point and make sure that camera is under it okay everything set to zero zero seems fine so now if we click on play we will have this player spawn by default has gravity which means that if we put him somewhere up he will fall down which is exactly what we want so now when we have camera we need to set up some sort of walking because if we would use just teleporting you wouldn't actually ever get to situation where you fall down so for that let's take our motion controller thumb left x and y what this basically is, is X and Y axis from joystick right here, because we will be walking with this joystick. Uh, let's put Y on the top, because that's the one which will move forward or backwards, and X, X is uh, the one that will go left or right. And that's what we will set up right now. So let's add movement input, and do the same thing here. Let's just copy that, and connect axis value right to it. But now we need to set it uh, so where he will actually walk. And from there, for that we will take our camera and get its forward vector. Which will let us go forward or backwards based on what which scale value this will be. If it will be in minus, he will go backwards. If it, if it will be in plus, it will go forward. And same thing here, just with... Okay, let's use this camera again and let's use get right vector. And same logic applies here. So now in the game, I of course cannot see hands because there are <laughs> there aren't any, but I can use these controllers to move around with joystick. As you can see, that's fine. Do -do -do. But I look that it will be forward, or I can go sides as I need. But only with the left controller. If you want, you can set it with right controller as well. That's up to you. The process is pretty much the same. And just to quickly show you that gravity already works. We can, okay, we need to start somewhere, so let's just move it here, and under our player, let's set it to current camera location, where it is, which means that where it is now, there it will start. So if I click play here, you can see that I'm already up here, and if I will go down, I will fall. Yep, just like that. So the next thing is to, is to actually fix that camera, because look at that, how low I actually am. And other thing is that we could use hands or something like that. And there is one more thing that we will actually do is to make sure that we can climb right here wherever we want. So let's take a cube from here and create some kind of ramp. So we could of course program it and add everything right here, but I'm kinda too lazy for that. So what we will actually do is to go here in content in a virtual reality BP blueprints and right here we have motion controller pawn where all this beautiful code is already done so what we simply will do is to take all this and steal it from here oh come here my dear code control C close it and open our gravity player and in event graph 
press Ctrl V. And you will get a bunch of errors, that's okay, we will fix that right away. But other than that, everything seems to work fine. Okay, compile and let's take it step by step. So first of all, disable this part because that's uh, attaching hands. We will do that later. First of all, we need to set up a height of the player for different platforms. And then do actually something with uh, teleportation, grabbing objects, etc, etc. That will be fixed in a minute, in a minute. Let's start here. So first of all, you can see that we have VR origin and the problem is simply with uh, this VR point. We need to rename it to VR origin. I actually thought it's called VR point. That's my mistake. Please forgive me. Origin. If you have forgiven me, just saying you could give me a like button. You can, of course, give me a like button, but it would make me much happier if you press the like button. <laughs> okay, now click on compile. Oh, cute. Come on. And create a variable from this default player height. And you need to sh make sure that you know the default player height. So let's back on virtual reality BP, blueprints, motion controller, and simply look what value is set here. It's set in 180 meters, which sounds fine. So let's it. let's just paste it here. Compile. Everything seems fine, and you can probably disable that. We won't need to use this. So next thing will be, of course, here with execute teleportation. First of all, let's create new variable is teleporting. Just by right click, as I did, uh, right click and set it to create variable. And now we will need to play with here a little bit. Let's create variable fade out duration and again you need to look uh, what it was here. I think it was 0 0.1 or something. Yep, 0 0.1. And same thing will be here with uh, fade in duration. That is 0 0.2. It's of course here. That's just fine. And teleport fade color color is by default set to black. In this case, let's not use variable. Let's just delete it, and it will default by default set it to black. All right, that sounds fine. And there is one more problem, and that's this teleport teleport fade color, which is the same, and it will use black as well. Okay, that's fine. All right, the next thing is handle controller input, and for that we have left controller and right controller, and if I am not mistaken, it's set right here. Yep in something we haven't set up yet but we can do it here let's create variable left controller and create variable right controller and da -da -da, everything here seems fine so the problem here is that it doesn't know where is function execute teleportation thing is that we actually have it here uh, it's right here execute teleportation but it cannot uh, copy it because it was created in different blueprint so simple trick for that is to delete it here and simply add it Again, execute teleportation and connect motion controllers. It's really as simple as that. It just cannot uh, take it from copying. Okay, true, do, do, do. And we actually won't use this one. It's just uh, for setting where you should face after you teleport. We don't need to work with that. Now if you compile and do everything as I did, everything should be fine without errors. And we can already actually connect this one. So it will all, uh, it will also spawn hands. And last thing here in player blueprint is actually do something with this custom event. I haven't noticed it before. When we copied, uh, when we copied it, it created custom event. And here should be an event. Okay, event back in play. That should fix it. Let's set it here, and everything else is hopefully fine. True, this seems fine. So let's try to test it out. Okay, now that seems fine. You can see that I'm walking around, and I have my hands. If I go close to this, I can pick it up and do S with regular VR controller, and I can also teleport around. That seems fine, but the problem, as you can see, is that I am sort of high. Yep. So let's try to fix that. The problem is that in regular VR pawn, we are starting in 0, 0, 0, in position 0, 0, 0, we can't use because we have this capsule component, which is everything under it. So what should actually fix it is set this to minus 
180. Set VR origin to my, uh, minus 180 because we have set it here in uh, that was uh, something like default player height. All right, 180 is actually way too much. So let's set it to minus 100. You will have to experiment here a little bit. What should pretty much work best is to put it on a point where this one is starting. So let's say that you put it here. It's about in minus 80. And that should give us just the right, just the right height. Okay, now that seems about right. I'm a little bit lower than I should probably be, but that's just because I'm sitting. I'm not going to stand just for you. What do you think you are? <laughs> anyway, instead I can move around just with this joystick and let's test gravity if it works as it should. And it should be just fine. Let's go up here and jump down. Okay, that's great. That's great. I think take something here. Everything is as it should be. I have noticed that teleportation doesn't work as well as it is with regular pawns, so you may need to adjust the timing and play with it to make it look just great, just as you need. But to be completely honest, I probably wouldn't recommend to combine locomotion with teleportation. You can let player choose one from start and then set up which pawn you want to use. It gets kind of messy if you are trying to use both. As you can see, the teleportation doesn't work as it should. By the way, you have probably noticed that I don't have this arrow in place of teleportation. You may have it there. You can quickly fix it by going into Virtual Reality BP, Blueprints, BP Motion Controller. And I don't have it. Oh, I actually have it here. Yes, the thing is that I clicked on it and went right here and set it to hidden in game. Uh, because as you have seen, we have deleted that part of code which set it up uh, based on how you move your joystick. And one last thing, if you feel like your player is moving way too fast, you can simply click on it, uh, go to character movement and right here set character movement wall walking and max speed to let's say 300. Now it will walk uh, half a speed it walked before. If you want to get project files for this tutorial or any other project files or for tutorials I have done before or after, technically, you can support me on Patreon where you will be able to download it and do whatever you want with that. Make a game with that. It's under CC1 pretty much. I just said it. So from now it is under CC1. You can use it for whatever you want. Anyway, it would help me a ton if you press the like button and that's about it. Surfancy out.